Hi, I'm Neil the Horse, and I've been telling the story of one of my most exciting adventures. And if you missed all the other parts, well, you missed some really good adventures and songs. But uh, what happened was that I found a map inside a banana, and it was a treasure map. And my friend Soapy, he's a cat, and me, and Mamza Poupe, she's a pretty lady who sings and dances and shows. We all went to find the treasure in South America in a country called Banana Door, and the treasure is a big banana. It's carved out of a big jewel, but there was this guy called Trapedo, and we thought he was a bad guy, but then maybe he was a good guy after all, and then uh, the general was a bad guy for sure, because he tried to, to steal the map, and he wants to get the big banana, and uh, then if he got it, he could rule the world, because then that's real bad, because he's a bad guy, right? Remember that? So anyway, finally we got to the temple, and that's where the big banana was, and we got in, and then the general came along, and he wanted to knock down the temple with us in it and steal a big banana and if he did that would be a real bad thing because then he could rule the world so it was a real bad situation all right and there were soldiers with guns and everything man you have your guns ready be sure they do not escape see my general please i do not like to do this you know oh. I mean, knock down the temple, kill you, all that, you know? It's not my idea of a good time. I'm just trying to rule the world. Any self-respecting dictator in his right mind will do the same thing. General, I will die before I see you take La Gran Banana. Well, right, exactly. You see, Senor Trapito, it is your choice. What can I do? And if the story ever gets out to the newspapers, ay caramba, it will be very buff my reputation. Why did you do this to me? Ah, uh, we're just mean, Parky. Yeah, we don't like you. Senor Horse, hmm? what have I ever done to you? Ooh, ooh. You are very lucky. Hmm? Here in Banana Door, we eat horses. <sighs> you vulgar <laughs> thing. Oh. Never mind, let's get this over with. You, Caballo. Gato, and you, Trapido, go to the back wall. The mm -hmm. senorita, you come to the door. You will like my palace very much. I have wall-to-wall -wall carpet. I have no grand couch and video games. Thank you, Monsieur le General, but I think I would rather die. Besides, Neil and Sophie and me, we have been together a long time. I will not leave them now. And Senor Trapito. I will not leave him either. Don't be foolish, Mademoiselle Poupe. You have much more of life to live. He's right, my dear. You go on, then. Yeah, and then you can hit the general when he's not looking. Never mind. If you're going to be like that, I won't let you come anyway. Ay, 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 what a world. Now I will have another soul on my conscience. Why did I ever become a dictator? Monsieur le General, if you are going to steal the big banana and knock down the temple and kill us all, will you please just shut up and do it? I cannot take much more of this whining. What kind of talk is this? Boy, you must have got out of the wrong side of the bed this morning. All right, I do it right now. That will make you happy? We. Oui. Now listen here, Porky One. As soon as you even touches this big banana, this joint's gonna come down like a house of cards. Jess, with you in it, mangy one. Me, keep them covered. See, uh, si. 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 but uh, but if the uh, the temple falls down, uh, we will run. Uh, see, si, we will run, uh, but it will do us more good if we run now. See, si, before the temple falls si. down. See, si, it is safer that way for sure. Uh, I think we go now, in general. What? I have to do this all by myself? Oh, no, no. We will be right outside, okay? Sure. We'll wait for you right outside the door. Uh, goodbye. Thanks for knocking. No, amigos, run. Yeah. Not yeah. so fast. Ooh. One more step and I shoot. Look at that. How I have to do everything myself. I should have known he'd pack a Saturday night special. Get back against the far wall. Go on, back. Monsieur Soupy, is there nothing we can do? Oh, it doesn't say nothing, my dear, but you keep your eyes open. I know. La Grand Banana is mine. Mine. <laughs> Come to me, my prize. Ruth, <laughs> 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 I leave you on the <laughs> 
Nobody have it. Nobody alive that is. The general wanted it so bad. Now he's got it. Forever. Oh, um. the poor general. He never even enjoyed being a dictator. And now it is too late. I will believe he's dead when I can put flowers on his grave. And maybe not even then. But for now, anyway, the search for La Grand Banana is over. Yeah. Monsieur Neil. Hmm? You have saved us. Me? It was your banana peels that the general sleep on. Huh? You are the hero. Me? Gosh, oh boy, I always wanted to be a hero. Do I get a prize? Oh, I give you a prize. Mm. Ooh. Thank you, oh, near my friend. <laughs> cool, the oh, senorita. Oh, my dear. Oh, Senor Tropito, for you too. Uh, Neil, let's just look over this way a moment. Uh, how come? Um, well, uh, did you see any pyramids? Uh, I sure do. A whole bunch. Yeah, me too. That's what I thought. Yeah. And you too, uh, huh? No, 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 never mind that. I just wished I had a box of cigars. I mean, what goes a trip to South America without cigars? <laughs> uh, the dawn will soon be here. We had better leave before the rest of the soldiers remember to look for us. Where is they, anyway? Oh, look, over there. Shh, listen. I tell you, I will be the next dictator. I am prepared to start immediately. You? What about me? I have a bigger mustache than you. Well, I have more metal, see? Ha! <laughs> I saw you buy those last week. So? I warn you, if you exist, I will be forced to take drastic For measures. For the good of our country, I am prepared to resist all such claims by irresponsible parties. Patriotism demands that the I take action against such a thing like you The global economy forced me to shoot! Well, boys, I see she's politics as usual in Banana Door. Let's get our boat. It is a long way back to the city. I've had enough jungle. It is making my air so frizzy. Yeah, my tail is getting frizzy, too. Yeah, my whiskers is getting frizzy, too. Come on. On your left, ladies and gentlemen, we see the truly disgusting city of Santa Banana. Mm -hmm. Jeez, I see this dump ain't improved in the last 24 hours. Hello, monsieur. Maybe we had better learn to like it. We did not get the big banana, and so we have left only this $50. We cannot get home. But at least that's enough to buy a few cigars. There's the dog, sir. Bring it alongside and I will tie it up. Stop! Thieves! Criarius! You have stolen my 
boat. Well, we didn't steal your boat. Here it is. That is right, senor. We are only uh, rent it. Rent it, huh? Where is the fifty dollars you promised me? You don't pay it, and I will call the police. Senor, you do not understand. We have been serving the needs of our country. Your boat has... Pay fifty dollars, or I call my wife. Well, that does it. Pay him the fifty dollars. I guess we owe it to him. Very well, senor. Here. Gracias, amigos. You want to rent it again today? No, but next time he wants to save the world and knock off a dictator, we'll give you a call. Ooh. Oh, jeez, this is swell. Now we can't even buy cigars. Never mind the cigars. What about the breakfast? We've not eaten anything but bananas since the day before yesterday. Well, uh, we still have some bananas left. Oh, no. jeez, I hope so. I never see another banana as long as I live. Well, see. Does that mean I can have them all? Oh, the sooner the better, Monsieur mm, Neil. Right. Mm. What's that? Hmm? Oh, jeez, this Bergen, it's sirens. Now what is come, it? Amigos, come with me quickly. Oh, what is it? Go on, run. Yeah. Well, what about my bananas? Well, you want to stay alive? Uh, uh, so. uh, yeah, sure. Into this shed. They are after us? That is a good possibility. It's what I call a bad possibility. Oh, I'll bet the army guys are mad because the general got killed. Ah, oh, that is right. This city will not be a healthy place for any of us. They know me, and it is easy to notice a horse and a cat and a blonde woman. My friends, uh, we had better find a way for you to go home. With no money, how do we do it? Walk? Don't worry. In the fight against the general, I have met many people. I might know a way. Let me go and speak to a friend of mine. Uh, I think it is safe now. Wait here on the dock and watch out. Wait, Tropito! It is not safe for you here. If we go home, do you think you will come with me? I cannot. The fight is not over. Especially now, with the general gone, there is even a small chance that soon we could make a decent government. But you... you could stay here with me, come to my camp in the mountains. And sadly, I cannot. That is a good fight, but it is not mine. I have tell you my plans for singing and making the big shows in the theater. You know what I tell you. There will always be something to fight. The time to sing and dance is now while we can. And you know what I told you. I want to make my country a happy one again, where there is music in the streets. Like the old movies, remember? The old movies. They always have the happy ending. You do not want your own life to be like that? I do. Mademoiselle Poupe, I... I want to be with you. Et moi aussi, avec toi. We want the same thing for ourselves and for the world. But you're lucky. You live in a country where there is still singing and laughter. My duty is to my country where the happy ending comes to no one. Then we are different, monsieur. I say if you make the dancing and the singing, the whole world is a better place. It is true, we are different. But you know how I feel. Say I... nothing more, mon ami. It is always this way, n'est-ce pas? Two people, they feel this... They sing together, but they are different, and so they part. Maybe not forever. Maybe not. You must understand. We, we're both making our choices. Well, I do understand. But to understand does not mean I have to like it. I am sick of always to understand. Poupé! Leave me. Just for a few minutes. Go and speak to your friend. Poupé! Leave me, monsieur. Please excuse me. Mademoiselle! And people are afraid to sleep 
That's the hottest game in town Trying to understand Why two spirits who can soul Come crashing down Why the thrill of evening Doesn't last until the morning Why a constant heart Will alter without warning I will try to understand That's the essence of true loving People say Knowing that your lover must be free To go away Don't care to soup or quite so much Don't count upon a certain touch These are the lessons of the day which I must understand. I will try to understand so my eyes can see nobody else but you. Remembering, if I can, that each time feels like the one that will be true. So why should I be sad? Because I will not have your dear face. Why not just be glad? There will be someone else in your place. I will try to understand why the happy ever after always pales. Am I just naive? I'll be grown up and mature Nothing in this life is sure If that's the truth I disapprove But I will Poupe. Oh, Monsieur Soupy. You are always my friend in the crisis of the art. You have seen me like this before, eh? Huh? No, I can all see it again. I'm being foolish, no? He's just another one, and I hardly know him. Nah, you aren't being foolish. You just feels what you feels. <laughs> Why is life always like this? When do it end, these disappointments? The way I figures it, you doesn't stop being disappointed till you stops hoping for things. That does not leave them very many good options, does it? Well, the longer I lives, my dear, the more I tries not to hope for nothing. Trouble is, it don't work. I always finds myself trying something new. You know what they says? Where there's life, there's hope. Now, if you ask me, that is a kind of a curse. <laughs> we, like the Chinese saying, may you live in interesting times. <laughs> That's right. May you always be hoping for something. I tells you, I tries to remind myself not to bother. Let me tell you the way I look at it. Keeps your feet on the ground. Don't let your hopes go flying high. What goes up must come down. And that's including you and I. Your flame and passion is deflated. Overnight success belated. Better not try cheering up today. 
Your road led to a cul-de-sac end And your rainbow to the back end Better not try cheering up today Don't ask the sun to shine in Keep wearing that frown Don't ever relax your grip You might as well leave your sunny side down And keep a loose upper lip When two fates at last were blending Someone changed the happy ending Better not try cheering up today Oh, Mr. Sophie, I'm feeling better already But well, you're missing a point of a song, my dear But I suppose hope springs eternal whether he likes it or not Come on now, get miserable Oh, very well Everything you've ever tried will be forgotten when you find you Better not try cheering up today Lovely, my dear Oh, now see When the sun's ignition turns up Everything on earth will burn up Better not try cheering up today. Okay. True, True lovers, lovers won't reunite. reunite. Clouds, Clouds won't roll by. Nightingales will not sing. If you look up, rain spits in your eye. It might, might as well not be spring. Try to give up all your hope and you'd better save your strength for coping. Better not try cheering up today. Hey, what's going on? You guys can't sing without me. Yes, and what about me? We are singing to make ourselves not to be happy. Can you think of something unhappy? Sure, we didn't get the big banana. I like bananas more than honey, but I can't get them without money. Better not try cheery enough today. I've given enough of blonde hair beauty To stay home and do my duty Better not try cheering up today Don't ask the sun to shine in Keep wearing that frown Don't ever relax your grip Might as well leave your sunny side down Keep a loose upper lip yeah. Instead of ending up in clover We're broke and the story's over Better, Better not try cheering up. up Drink up and drain that bitter cup Better, Better not try cheering up today, today. It is resolved, yes, that we never try nothing again in our lives. That's right, <laughs> until the next time. Well, amigos, <laughs> I hate to bring good news, but I have found the way for you to get home. Well? My friend, he is willing to give you a free ride. Oh. Free me, son? What's the catch? <laughs> I hope you're not in a hurry. Come and look. See, my friend has heard of your great service in fighting General Alma de Puerco, and he wishes to help you in any way he can. He's a very important man. Mm -hmm. Look, there is his sheep. This one? That one? Really? Wow, a banana boat. Oh, <laughs> boy, well, thanks. It, it will take you two weeks, but you can have all the bananas you want. Compliments of the captain. Ooh, oh, that's great, isn't it, Soapy? Oh, jeez, I wonder if I can go for two weeks without eating. <laughs> I hope they at least have some peanut butter to go with them for sandwiches. But thank you, Trapito. Oh, it is nothing. You have helped me keep La Gran Banana from the wrong hands. Well, of course, you know we want it in our hands. Oh, that is an argument we never had the opportunity to finish. Perhaps someday La Gran Banana will end up in the Museo Nacional, and you can come to see it. Oh, I just know if that would be such a great consolation. But that is the signal. Time for you to board the ship. Neil? I already know that you will be happy during the voyage. You bet! Oh, boy! Senor Soapy, for you I have a little gift to help pass the hours. A box of cigars? Oh, <laughs> finally! Cheese in her hand roll, too. Trapito, you're all right. A bit pure of heart, maybe, but all right. <laughs> I cannot stand to think of someone deprived of cigars. And Mademoiselle, I can give you nothing. Nothing I do not take away again. But you do give me some things that I take away with me. Now I have a friend in South America. A friend who wants you to return. I will return. And we will dance in the streets of Santa Banana. Yeah, we'll all come back and we'll all dance. Oui. <laughs> come on, we're going to miss the boat. Ooh. Not that that would be the first time. Well, allons-y, allons -y. Bye, Mr. Torpedo. So long, Sparksy and the funny papers. Au revoir. Goodbye, my friends. Oh, they're coming again. I must go. Don't let them catch you. Not me, Senor Neil. Uh, when you see the news of Banana Door on your TV, think of me. Right, my son. Run, Monsieur. And Torpedo, return.
gee, a whole ship full of bananas. Where do I start? Hmm. Geez, do you think there'll be any left by the time he gets to Canada? <laughs> oh, I hope that torpedo is all right. I wouldn't worry if I was you. He's like us felines. He always lands on his feet. Well, we are not rich, but we have a big adventure and we are still alive. <laughs> that was quite a trail, eh? If we weren't alive, we couldn't eat bananas. And I love to eat bananas. <laughs> I don't like your peaches, they are full of stones. But I love bananas because they have no bones. Don't you give me no tomatoes, don't want an ice cream cone. But I love bananas because they have no bones. No matter where I go, Corner Brook or Campbell River, I want the world to know that I'm from Canada. I love bananas, cabbages and onions and scunions. They hurt my singing tones, but I love bananas because they have no bones. Oh, he has the feeling this is going to be a long trip. Better break out the cigars. Huh, what's this? This ain't a cigar. Some kind of rolled up paper. It looks like a treasure map of some kind. Boys, it is. It looks like a big carved cigar made of some precious stone. El Gran Tobacco. The big cigar. Hey, now, this could be worth money. What is that, Monsieur Soupy? Oh, oh, no, nothing, my dear, nothing at all. I was just playing with me cigars. Jeez, i got to be out of my mind. I mean, once is enough, eh? The best place for this thing is up the business end of a match. There. <sighs> now, that's one less adventure I'll have in me life. You are enjoying the cigar, Soupy? <laughs> Tremendously, Mamsen. Oh, I just love to watch the smoke go floating away on the breeze. Don't care what they cost if it's a dollar or a nickel. I won't be double crossed. Don't you give me a pickle. Don't want a popsicle. You can keep your avocados. You can save your nectarones. But I love bananas because they have no bones. <laughs> 